They obey everything he says. It's more than a matter of day. In the Garden of Eden, the, Satan said to Eve, Eve, what difference does the tree make? All the trees, all the trees are alike. And Eve lost Eden. Because she listened to his lie. And many Christians today are buying into deception. People say, what difference does it make? It's just a day. Every day is alike. But with God, all, all days are not alike. There was one day that was blessed by God. It's the seventh day. One day was sanctified by God. He set it aside. It was the seventh day. And God rested only on one day. The Sabbath. See, the issue that we are dealing with. It's an issue of authority. It's an issue of obedience. And see, this is where we have the two choices. We can choose the Bible. Or we can choose tradition. We can listen to Jesus. Our religious leaders. We can choose God's law. Or man's law. We can choose God's instruction or human teaching. We can choose God's way or man's way. And God says to you and me tonight, choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, we serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I told you five years ago, that's, that's when I left the world of drinking, partying, I smoked marijuana. I didn't follow any rules. And then when my little brother died, it was a wake up call for my life. God spoke to me. He said, Come back to church. Preach the word of God. And when I visited my aunt's house, she was a seven day Adventist. She said, Chris, what day are you going to preach on? You're going to preach on Saturday? Are you going to preach on Sunday? I said, Auntie, does it matter? I'm going to preach every day of the week. I left her house. I said, she just wants me to turn seven day events. But I started to pray. I asked God, show me a sign. And I had one of my business partners. They invited me to their house to pick up money. And when I went to their house, they were watching a TV station. It's called 3ABN. And on that TV station, they were talking about seven day events. But they were Catholic. I said, Why are you watching this channel? They said, The seven day Adventists, they have good recipes. 
So then I asked them a question. What about the Sabbath? Why does my family keep telling me about the Sabbath? They looked me in my eyes. They said, Chris, your auntie is right. It was in history that Constantine changed the Sabbath. But the true day of worship was the seventh day Sabbath. I was surprised. I said, my auntie was right. But then I went back to the church. I was going to church on Sunday. And I went and I was looking for the pastor. I wanted to ask him the question. Why do you go to church on Sunday? Why does my family go to church on Saturday? I couldn't find the pastor. But the pastor wife was in the lobby of the church. So I asked, I asked her the question. She looked surprised. She said, she said, that's your business. You need to decide for yourself. After that day, I continued to study the Bible. I found out about the seven day Sabbath. And I made my decision. I'm going to live according to the word of God. Amen. 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 Because we live according to the word of God. Remember, we said we're going to make a special call. We're making a special call for anyone out there. Because we know that it's not easy. It's not easy to change your whole life. But when you love Jesus and you see the proof in his word, you make the decision through faith. And he will bless you. He will take care of you. Raise your hand if you have been blessed by the word of God raise your hand now raise your hand if by keeping the Sabbath it has brought rest and blessings to your life stand if you believe it pastor abusa we're going to do a special call tonight. We want to make a special 